Good morning, my viewer. Welcome to Ngaulele Sunday service. And shall we begin our short service with a word of prayer? Almighty Father, we thank you for having taken care of us throughout this past week and for giving us yet another day to sit at your feet and listen to your word. Now we pray that your spirit will connect us with you and also with each other, with my viewer, that we may be able to listen to you and hear you as you speak to us. Teach us your word, almighty God, that um, as you guide us, we may be able to serve you even better. Thank you, Lord, for it is in Jesus' name. Amen. Karibu sana. We continue with our series in giving. And last Sunday, we were able to talk about um, the time that God has given us as a resource that uh, we use to worship God. Number two, we also did the talent. And we did mention that uh, the gifts that God has given us as talents, those things we enjoy doing, we do them for the glory of God. So this morning, I would want us to share on the treasure, the treasure that God has given us. And again, we continue basing uh, this talk on Second uh, Corinthians chapter number 8 and verse number 7, which I want to read from the Bible and it says, since you excel in so many ways, in your faith, you gifted speakers, your knowledge, your enthusiasm, and your love from uh, for us, from us, I want you to excel also in this gracious act of giving. Friend, this morning, I would want to speak elaborately on the treasure and uh, the treasure is about our money. And money, uh, the Bible says, where your treasure is, is where also your spirit goes. Because you'll be thinking about your treasure, about what God has given you. And so, um, I would want to, just before I go into talking about the treasure, Proverbs 100, verse number 8 says, The wise in heart accepts command, but a chattering fool comes to ruin. So uh, let us pray that God will help us to be wise people. When it comes to talking about giving our treasure to the work of God, uh, we should do it in a wise manner. So I want to talk about uh, various types of giving as commanded in the Bible. Now I, I begin, there, there is no, I am not giving any preference, but uh, just listed and I uh, want us to uh, talk about each, each one of them. So the first one comes uh, as tithe. Tithe, but maybe I will go back to it at a certain point later on, not today necessarily. I just want to talk briefly about the different types. So number one is the tithe, and this is a command from God. Uh, most of us are aware of uh, Malachi 3. Anyway, when uh, most of us mention about tithe, uh, people go to Malachi uh, chapter 3 and verse 8 to 10. And I will also want you to check on um, Leviticus chapter 27, verse number 30 and 33. Uh, what about the tithe? When we give a tithe, we honor God. We honor God. We worship him with what he has given us. But when we give it, we honor him by obedience to his command that we give a tithe, the whole tithe, uh, to his granary so that there will be no lack. Uh, remember, God is the owner of all things that are, are here with us. And he wants us to be obedient to him. You know, it is not about the amount, but especially obedience to God, the attitude that we engage in our giving. And so um, we, we support the church and the work of God, and especially our spiritual leaders, as God has commanded when we give our tithe. So tithing commands blessings 
uh, but also be aware that it either will command a blessing or it will command a curse on us. So as we give, let us give it from the perspective of knowledge, let us give it um, with a positive attitude and let us know that it is part of worshipping our God. Now, um, you, if you read um, Leviticus chapter number 27, verse 33, 30 to 33, it says, we give a tithe of everything from the land, whether grain from the soil or fruit from the trees, all this belong to the Lord. It is holy to the Lord. And more of this we will discuss at a later date. Number two item that I want us to discuss on, um, uh, on um, treasure, I want to bring the aspect of uh, a free will offering, sadaka ya kawaida. And this I want to read Exodus chapter number 25, verse 1 and 2. And what of God says, uh, this is a command that God gave to uh, Moses, tell the Israelites to bring me an offering. You are to receive an offering for me from each man whose heart prompts him to give. So here, friend, we are not ordered to give any amount, a certain amount, specific amount, but we give according to your willingness, according to that which is in your heart. With the tithe we are commanded, it is a tenth and nothing less, a tenth. And, uh, but uh, the free will offering is that which we give every Sunday. We bring what God has given us from what God has given us. We set apart and bring it to him. Number three is the first fruit. The first fruit offering. In Kiswahili we call it malimbuko. And Proverbs chapter number three and verse number nine says, Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of all your crops. Then your barns will be filled to overflowing. Tumuheshimu mungu kwa malimbuko ya mazao jetu. Iwe ni mazao ya chakula. Iwe ni mazao ya udongo au mifugo. Tumuheshimu mungu. Tumuabudu mungu kwa mazao jetu. And it says in Exodus chapter number 20, Exodus number 22, verse 29, it says, Do not hold back offerings of your granaries. And verse number 30 says, Do the same with your cattle and sheep. I repeat, do not hold back offerings of your granaries. That's verse 29. And verse number 30 says, do the same with, the, with your cattle and the sheep. So first fruits are presented at the altar as a token, but is for use by the priest. So when we take our, our, our first fruits to the altar, we are not expected to see it being sold. No, it is not for sale. It is not for a sadaka that should go where the rest of the offering goes, but then it is given to the priest priests of the altars that we worship through or from. Then the other item is uh, a thanksgiving offering. Thanksgiving offering. This is where we are coming to tell God, thank you for what he has given, for what he has done. We are just thanking him uh, for all that he has done. I specifically love uh, Psalm number 116, verse 7, and I will also read uh, verse number 12. Be at rest once more, O oh my soul, for the Lord has been good to you. Be at rest, O oh my soul, once more, O oh my soul, for the Lord has been good to you. Then verse number 12 says, How can I repay the Lord for all? 
all his goodness to me. Friends, I would want us to ask, keep asking ourselves this question. Is there anything that uh, we can give to, you know, to, that is equal to what God has done? It can never be. And that's why if you continue to the next verse, uh, the writer of the psalm says, um, I will lift up the cup of salvation. You know, I will receive salvation from God. I will receive this salvation from Christ because there is nothing I can give him that is equivalent to what he has done. And so, my friend, it is a desire for God to reign forever and save us from trouble. Uh, when we give God that which we give him as a thanksgiving, uh, it is good for us to remember that we are giving it in response to what God has done. He has rescued us from distress. He has done great honors to us. He has given us promotions. He has given us, he restored us from um, you know, ill health. He has given us the gift of children. He has given us uh, marriages. He has given us good um, uh, spouses whom we honor and they honor us. He has given us so many things. You have completed the project you were doing. He has granted you all that which you can see and which you can touch. So it is a desire um, to let God reign in our lives forever. Then uh, finally, it's, uh, there is a, what we call a vow offering, a pledge. You know, you just give, tell yourself and give yourself an amount that you want to be giving um, to the work of God, regardless of when it is up to you. You can decide, you can agree with God, I want to give a daily offering or I want to give um, a, a month or even a yearly, depending on you, it is up to you. But then you must honor. Once you have promised yourself you want to give to the work of God, it is good that you honor. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter number five, and verse number four says, when you make a vow to God, do not delay in fulfilling it. He has no pleasure in fools. Fulfill your vow. So this is the word of God. And once we have um, pledged that I'll give, um, I'll be giving this amount uh, to the work of God, work as much as possible that you may fulfill. Now, may God help us to be faithful in giving and spending the treasure he has given us for his service. May God bless you so much. We will continue with our series next Sunday. May God bless you. Shall we pray? Almighty God, we thank you for this day that you've given us. We thank you for your word. May you continue encouraging and strengthening and enlightening us so that we may worship you in a way that is acceptable to you. Bless my viewer, bless my listener, wherever they are, that Lord Almighty you may walk with them as you teach them your word. For it is in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I pray. Amen. Bye-bye. God bless you. See you next Sunday.